Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Workflowy. So what I want to show you today is a really easy hack to create a shortcut back to whatever you're working on at the current moment, uh, which makes it easy if you're working someplace else in Chrome, um, which is what I use. This is for Chrome and for other browsers that you can use the WFX extension on. Um, so that's required for this. Uh, and I will put uh, I will put links in the description to the WFX extension and the Power Pack upgrade that are really, really valuable. It's If you don't use those and you're using Workflow, I really recommend you at least look into it uh, because they're incredibly powerful and they really put 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 a power pack on your workflow making literally making some things possible that that uh, aren't possible in workflow uh, and letting you do stuff in workflow because you can work at such a fast speed um, just to give you a little this is going to be my little ad for wfx so here you go jay this is for you uh, literally there was something i wanted to do that i would not have been able to do it would have taken me hundreds or maybe a thousand hours to do it um, with the WFX extension and some of the power pack mechanics that you can embed in, in WFX, uh, it took that down to about 40 to 50 hours because I could do stuff so fast. It was unbelievable how fast the WFX and some of the power pack extensions uh, let you let you do stuff in Workflowy. So, but WFX is just a Chrome extension. And it will it will work. It's uh, I think it's still free. It's I think it's a free extension. Um, just search for WFX in the Chrome extension store, and in your other uh, browser stores. I'm, I think it's there too. So what this lets you do is using WFX. I'm going to jump in here. Um, so let's say this is where I'm working right now. This is my focus for the next uh, hour or several hours or, or days. It's going to be my primary work zone. Um, and so this is my 12-week year, what I'm focusing on right now with my 12-week year. Um, and so what I want to do is create a keyboard shortcut for here. But I don't need a keyboard shortcut for this particular thing because it's not necessarily, if it's not necessarily something I'm going to want to return to, over the next weeks and months and years, then I don't necessarily want to create a keyboard shortcut just for this, just for the next hour or whatever. But if I, so I, I just triggered WFX using Alt W, that's the keyboard uh, shortcut for uh, triggering WFX. And I'm going to create a new keyboard shortcut for here. And I want it to be N for now. I already have N as my keyboard shortcut someplace else where I was focused before. But I'm going to, it's, it's saying, hey, this is already a keyboard shortcut for this particular other place in my workflow um, or in Chrome in general. And it's asking if I want to replace it. This is the key. Because it's what I'm working on now, yes, I do, because that's going to change over time. And I'm going to go ahead. So now if I jump out someplace in workflow um, I can jump back straight from there. And if I actually go over and I get distracted, I'm watching Malcolm Gladwell eat, eat hot wings uh, on hot ones. Um, and I'm like, oh, I just got distracted. I need to go back. But I want to go back to the thing I'm working on. Not just go back to workflow, but back to the thing I'm working on. And so the way that works is if this is my primary focus right now, you know, say I'm working on it all morning. And I created that keyboard shortcut. But then I'm going over here. And I'm creating, uh, I just finished my taxes for the year, just got those sent off. So that was what I was just doing here. But now I'm making this video about the keyboard quick jump hack. Um, and so I'm here and then I'm going over here to look at my, my task list. And I kind of land there and then I walk out and get lunch and I come back and I'm watching this. I'm like, what was I working on? I want to jump straight back there. Even though I've navigated a lot of other places, I can click N and now and it jumps me straight back. And then maybe later on in the day, I am uh, i don't know what I might be doing. I'm uh, working in my knowledge lab and jumping into my taxonomy node and I'm working in, uh, I don't know, community. And I want to look at the backlinks there. 
So that's what I'm going to focus on for whatever reason. I'm, you know, I just picked that out of the blue. But now this is my focus for the next half hour, hour, whatever. Uh, workflow -y shortcut. That's going to be my shortcut. It's asked if I want to overwrite. And since I'm transitioning from what I was working to what I am working on now, I want, I do want to overwrite it. And now if I travel around and look at, you know, Circa notebooks um, and, uh, you know, ju jumping around YouTube and then I want to go back to what I was doing. My, there we go. Uh, my computer had a glitch there. It jumps me right back to it. So that's that's the key. Number one, you have to have WFX. And then just that concept of wherever you're working, create a quick keyboard shortcut to it. And then that that collapses the... It, it literally becomes its own reminder of what you were working on if you've forgotten what it is you were supposed to focus on if you're like me. Um, and it brings you right back to where your where your focus is right now. So anyway, I hope that helps. Little little quick hack. Again, look in the description for um, any uh, for the links to WFX and the Power Pack, and give it a try. Let me know what you think.